Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunshine and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And a couple times a month I like to film my what sold videos so you guys can follow along and see what I pick up in the thrift store and how much I make on it. So if this sounds like something that interests you, then please stay tuned. Okay, I think I'm gonna start on eBay since that's my alma mater. And the first thing to sell was a black charter club, size large, cashmere sweater, turtleneck, and I paid $3 for it at Goodwill um, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And it sold for my full asking price of $39.77 which was awesome because usually people will send me lowball offers on the cashmere. So the next thing, oh yeah. So the next thing to sell was this Faded Glory denim shirt. You guys know I love picking up denim shirts with embroidery. I don't care about the brand name. I just care about how pretty the embroidery is. <clears throat> so this one was a Faded Glory size 3X denim shirt and it was embroidered with fall leaves across the chest and on the collar. It was really pretty. And I had it listed for $25 and I need to move out some of this big bulky inventory so I can bring in more. And since I only paid $3 for it, I accepted the $15 offer and moved it out. So then I sold some personal care toiletry items that we know I don't put in my videos. Quite a few of them, actually. Okay, next thing to sell. I picked up at Goodwill because I wanted to try out kids' clothes. So at our Goodwill, I think all the pieces are a dollar ten. They're only a dollar something. So that's what I'm into this for. <clears throat> and it was this cute Carter's baby girl jacket with um, kitty ears on the hood. So I think I had it listed probably for $10 and... Someone sent me an offer of five and yeah, I want to move it out and I won't be picking up kids clothes again, but it was really cute and I hope they're really happy with it. And the next item to sell, which is also something I don't usually pick up, are bras. And this was, I picked it up because I only paid $3 for it and it was like a tie-dye, eyelet, crochet. It was beautiful. It was Victoria's Secret and a size 34 double D. And I think I had it listed for $20 and someone sent me an offer of 15, which I gladly accepted. And I probably won't be picking up bras anymore either. Okay, the next item to sell, hallelujah. Those are my hallelujah sale. Okay, this came in the men's thread up rescue box. So I'm into these pieces, I think for $4 each, somewhere around there. And it was an Abercrombie and Fitch, new with tags, plaid long sleeve, button down poplin shirt. Somebody, I think I had it listed, yeah, I did, for $20 with free shipping. And someone offered me 12 and we countered back and forth. And finally I sent him a message saying, you know, $20 is the least amount I can take for this with the free shipping because I had offered free shipping on it. So once again, what do they do? They counter back at 17. So I decline because, you know, don't abuse what I'm trying to do for you here. So I ended up relisting it and I'm pretty sure I listed it for $25. And someone came in, it could have been the same person, I didn't really look at their name, but somebody came in and offered me a $20 offer and I gladly accepted it. So glad to be moving some of these pieces out. The next item, I'm glad it sold, but I really wanted to keep this for myself. When it got a little bit cooler, I was going to wear it. It's this, it was this beautiful philosophy dress, and it was striped, and it had beautiful embroidery up here, and the tassels, and it was just a lightweight, loose fit, like puff sleeves um, dress, and I only paid $4 for it, and I had it listed for maybe 40, I want to say, because like I said, I wasn't really looking to sell it before I could wear it. But somebody came in and offered me, I don't know, 32, yeah, they offered me 32.50 and I thought, you know what, for $8, 
I was probably having a slow sales day, so yeah, I let them have it for that, which is a great return on my investment, but the bummer is I didn't get to wear it yet. <laughs> okay, next item I picked up at my honey hole. So it was before they were having any big sales, so I did pay $10 for it. And it was this Quacker Factory two-piece jogger set, pretty blue color, and it had embellishments on the zip front hoodie. And it was a size medium, yeah. So I only paid $10 for it, and I probably had it listed for 40. And someone came out in and offered me $35, and I accepted it. So glad that was a big piece, so glad to get that moved. Okay, next item I got for free for that Walmart Spark Reviewer program. I don't know, they send you stuff every now and then and want your um, review on it. So they sent me two of these Secret Treasures tights in a size XXL. One was animal print, one was black, uh, glittery-like. And I thought those would sell before they did for maybe Halloween. But anyway, I ended up lotting them together and I think I had them listed for 10 and somebody offered me $8 and yes, to get those moving because they were free to me. So that was a good sale. I'm gonna take a Starbucks break. And the next item to sell, I also purchased, no, I think I purchased this at a buy sell trade store a couple months ago. So I only paid $3 for it. And it was this Lane Bryant, beautiful seafoam green, it had pin tuck pleating in the front and all around it. And I think I had it listed, in fact, I know I did for 25. And I only paid $3 for it. Somebody came in and offered me $13. And because I was having a slow sales day, and we all know I'm trying to move out skirts and dresses, I went ahead and accepted it. But what was so cool about this offer was the man sent me a great note saying, my wife is going to be so happy with this come Christmas. This is a Christmas present for her. And I, you know, emailed him back and I said, thank you so much for your message. I go, I didn't really want to let it go for this, but I'm glad that it's going to go to somebody that will enjoy it. And yeah, so that moved out for $13. Oh, and... If you see it, you're seeing the picture on my mannequin. Okay, this was a size 26, 28, so it was wrapped around her like three times because she's twiggy. And I had it gathered in the back, but I guess I had it good enough that you could see the pin tuck in the front and that's what sold it, so. Yeah, I'm happy with that sale. Okay, next item uh, were a pair of my shorts that I grew out of, unfortunately. They were these Rewind size nine jean shorts. Um, they were embellished. They had a palm tree and flamingo patch-like design on them. And I think I had them listed probably for 20 because I probably only wore them a handful of times. And another slow day, somebody offered me $12 and I went ahead and accepted just to move it out. Sorry if you're hearing dogs in the background. Our neighbors <coughs> have four big dogs that never shut up. They bark at anything. Did a leaf fall? Let me bark at that. Yeah. Okay, next item I was also going to wear this year, but didn't get a chance. So I picked this up for $3 at Goodwill. It were the Sonoma jeans. They were whiskered. They were an ankle skinny in a size 12. But the beautiful embroidery around the pockets and down the sides, I couldn't wait to wear these. But yeah, it's it got cool here for a couple days, and now we're back up to 90. So I don't know when it's going to get cool enough for me to have worn those. But these sold, I think I was having, oh, I was having a $7 off promotion sale. I have to be really careful doing these sales from now on because somehow this sale got skewed. I ended up having to cancel two orders because items weren't, I didn't include certain items, and they somehow got included, and yeah, it was a big mess. So if you guys are running sales in your store, be really careful. Okay, so these sold for $7 off, which means they were listed for 25 and they sold for $17.77. And yeah, I won't be wearing those th this year. So then I sold some more toiletries. Okay. This item 
what I have had for probably three years. It's an Urban X slim fit graphic long sleeve t-shirt. And it had the skull on the front and it was really thin burnout material. So I'm not sure. I was hoping the dogs would quit barking, but they're not. Okay, so I don't know. I probably, I know I spent more than I got for it because I finally ended up sending it out to auction for 77 cents to get rid of it. And that's what it sold for. Okay, the next items were a bundle, which I very rarely get on eBay. Um, this lady contacted me. Well, she sent me an offer on one of the items and I accepted it. And then she contacted me saying she was looking at other items. So I uh, explained to her because she had already paid. She accepted my offer for the first one she'd already paid. I explained to her that you need to pay within 24 hours because eBay requires me to ship that. So she ended up uh, buying two more items. So a total of three items. And the first item was the Sacred Thread size 3X patchwork shirt that I picked up for on dollar days way, you know, a few months ago when our Goodwill was having dollar days. So I was only into that for a dollar and the offer we agreed on was $19 and 77 cents. So that's a good return on my investment there. Next item was my favorite, this Lee Southwestern shirt, t uh, sweatshirt. Somebody had razor slashed and put conchos on so it was embellished and it had fringe. And when I brought it home, I paid a dollar at Goodwill. When I brought it home from Goodwill, it had pilling everywhere, inside and out. It was unrecognizable. So I spent a lot of time on that, depilling it, making it look good. And I'm glad I did because that dollar item ended up selling to her for $25. And that was a big bulky item. So yeah, I'm glad to see that go. And then the third item she bought, <coughs> I also bought for a dollar at Goodwill. It was this vintage Raffaella, beautiful silk blazer, floral print, colorful, three, four sleeves, lightweight, and she ended up uh, buying it for $27.88. So those three items I packaged together and refunded her the shipping difference. And she left me good feedback, so she loved all of her items. The next item to sell was this pair of Mini Tonka Men's Size 11 Moccasin Slippers. I had these listed maybe a couple months because I couldn't find comps on these or even any selling these. So I listed them high for $40 and I expected to get that. So I held out. I mean, I got a few low ball offers, but I held out and these sold for $39 and 77 cents. And what's cool is they're going to Alaska. So yeah, they'll keep his feet nice and warm. And I only paid $5 for these at, I want to say Goodwill. I'm pretty sure it was Goodwill. Okay, next item I've had forever. I got it in a sports lot that I purchased at Goodwill Online maybe a year ago. So it was new with tags and it was uh, Williams College. I didn't even know where that was. I had to do some research on it. And it was purple and it was a men's. So I'm thinking, yeah, it's going to be a hard sell. I'm going to be sitting on it for a while. And I did. So I think I had it listed for maybe $20. And someone came in and offered me $10 and hallelujah, yes, you can have it. So that went out. <clears throat> Hopefully he's happy with that, he or she. Okay, the next item to sell was mine. And it was this Adobe Buffalo Bone hair pipe choker that I never ended up wearing. I can't even remember now where I got it from. But I listed it for $19.77 and that's what it sold for. Okay, next item. Here we come with the drama. Okay, these, these are Clark size nine clogs. Beautiful condition. Leather, I picked them up at the Humane Society thrift store for uh, $5 a couple months ago. Listed them for 35. Someone sent me a $18 offer. So we countered back and forth and we ended up on, we ended up with $26 and uh, she's in the same, she's in the same state as me. So she was saying, 
oh, the shipping should be that expensive, blah, 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 blah. And she was right. But at the time, I wasn't near where I could change the shipping price for her. So I went ahead and let her have them for $26. So a week goes by. She contacts me through eBay saying one of the shoes, she had walked on it and it fell apart. Now, I had checked these soles because Clarks are known for their, you know, I had checked these soles. These soles were perfect. Pictures proved it. So after going back and forth, I guess she was walking out the door or something and one of them disintegrated. When she showed me pictures, though, she had to have either taken a chainsaw to it or stepped on a nail or something. And it didn't even go all the way through, but it was kind of jagged and I couldn't figure out what she had stepped on. So I keep trying to you know, kept trying to talk to her about it. And, you know, she used all the tricks in the book that buyers use and they know how to get around the eBay system. And eBay just follows along with them like a little puppy. So, <clears throat> you know, I told her, I go, I can't, I'm not gonna, I don't accept refunds. I'm not gonna um, accept this one. You've worn them. You somehow damaged them. And, you know, I was real nice to her. She was real nice to me, whatever. So she, well, what I should have said this to begin with, she started off threatening me with, with uh, negative feedback. Don't do that. Don't threaten. So she went ahead and left me negative feedback. I called eBay, had eBay me remove it, which they're good about that, but that's about the only thing. And I couldn't understand during this whole time why she didn't open up a case. Why didn't she just open up a case, lie about it like other buyers do, and, you know, go through that whole thing. So what does she do after she finds out the negative feedback was removed? That's what she did. She opened a case. And I can't believe she was able to do that since eBay was already in the loop knowing what was going on. But that's eBay's flaw, one of many. So I ended up having to actually take the return back. When I got them, yeah, just what I thought. She had to have stepped on a nail or something and, you know, ran it up through the bottom and it somehow went at an angle, which made it damage the heel. So anyway, I accepted the return, refunded her money. This is what you're supposed to do on eBay. And then I appealed it. So I'm still waiting for the appeal process. But, you know, it's just, it's a headache. eBay really needs to fix that part of their system. Okay, rant over. On to the next. Sorry about that. Okay, next was a great sale. I paid... $4 for the, or not even $4, I paid, this is where I paid $2 shoe for shoes at that rummage sale, <clears throat> the only rummage sale of the season. So I paid $2 for these, cleaned them up, and they were these SAS Diabetic Men's Shoes, Orthopedic Leather Comfort Tripad. I think they retail for like $168 new. So I listed mine, uh, you know, I looked at comps and I listed mine comparably. For $59.77, and that's what they sold for. What a great investment on $2. So then we have more toiletry items. Oh, another hallelujah sale. So this, I paid $3 for, and it was this African dashiki um, hoodie-like thing. And I bought it because I liked it, and it was kind of like something we wore in the 70s. I thought somebody else would like it too. So then I get it home and look it up on eBay and they're everywhere. They're made in China, you know, and they're going for cheap and all that. So I listed mine for $15. It's that, 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 that. Yeah, because you get it cheaper from China. And uh, somebody finally sent me an offer of $12 and I gladly accept it. And hallelujah, it's out the door. I won't be picking those up again. Lesson learned. Okay, then we have some more toiletries, <clears throat> and now we have another denim shirt that I sold. This one was the most beautiful. Had sunflower embroidered on it, fall harvest, just a denim button-up shirt by Karen Scott in a size extra large, and I paid $4 for it, and it sold for my full asking price of thirty. Well, $29.77. So yeah, I hope she loves that because it was really beautiful. Probably the, the most unique denim shirt I've picked up in a while. Okay, so that was it for eBay. Now I think I'm going to move. I didn't have very many sales on Poshmark or Macari, which is par for the course. But let me get that set. So even though I only had a few sales on Poshmark, some of them were amazing sales. Uh, the first one isn't one of them, but we'll get to it. Okay, first item to sell was this sew so tie-dye 
oversized long sleeve t-shirt in a size medium. And I think I had it listed for $25 and it was a full price sale, which was amazing on Poshmark. I really liked it. I thought, well, you know, it was kind of um, oversized, so it would have fit me. So I thought, well, if it doesn't sell, I'll wear it, you know, this winter. But it sold, and I'm so happy to see that go. I did that. I picked that up for $5 on retail arbitrage a few months ago. So, yeah, that was a good return on my investment. Next item I bought quite a while ago, it was this beautiful Artesia boho peasant style uh, top and it was crinkle gauzy material and I love the burnt sienna color and I was going to wear it this fall too. Had pretty embroidery, the tassel ties and it was a size extra large which you know I can wear stuff oversized. I don't have a problem with it. So I had it listed for 25 and someone sent me an offer of 20 and I wasn't having any sales so I accepted and that was off to its new home. But you know what? I hardly ever have any returns. But this time frame, this uh, last part of October, I've had two. I had one on eBay and one here on Poshmark. So her return reason. I hate having returns on Poshmark because Poshmark is the worst. They will take items back for smell. Any, any reason the buyer wants to give, they'll take it back. And you can't contact anybody. So you can kind of kiss that goodbye. Poshmark really needs to up their game. So anyway, she, her reasoning, it was a size extra large and not an XXL. Which granted, I cannot believe I left an X out of a size. But, but you can clearly see in my pictures the size tag with the XL on it. And I always leave detailed measurements, always because that way they know if it'll fit them or not. So I asked her, I go, I, I mean, I apologize, of course, for my oversight. And I asked her, I go, well, did you look at the pictures or read the measurements in the description? And she's like, no, I know what size I wear in this brand. Okay, Petty Betty. <clears throat> so anyway, I, you know, I told her, I go, okay, I guess, you know, I'm going to take the return because I knew Poshmark would okay it, which they did. <clears throat> so I ended up relisting it and hopefully it'll resell. But I'm telling you what, I've, I've been reselling for 13 years and think I've heard it all until I hear that nobody looks at the pictures and nobody reads the description. They just buy stuff because of the brand name. Okay, whatever, moving on. Okay, <laughs> next sale was a wonderful, wonderful, awesome sale. I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale a few months ago. It was this vintage 1995 Levi's trucker jacket. It was lined and I had it listed for $89 and I've had it listed for a while at that. Never had any offers, had likes, but no offers. And somebody just swooped in and paid full price for it. I was blown away. So I was waiting for the ball to drop and then want to return it or whatever because it did have a stain on it, um, an oil stain, which I just closed and showed in the pictures, but you know. And <clears throat> we all know now people sometimes don't look at pictures. So they swooped in and bought it for $89 and what a great return on a dollar. Kind of made up for those two returns. So the next item that sold was mine. And I can't even remember the, the brand name of it, but it was a white flounce, bell sleeves, beautiful cardigan. And I had them all listed for between 15 and 25. And someone offered me $15 for this. And yes, hallelujah, to move it out. And next item, same thing. I just can't believe some of these sell on Poshmark. It's so weird. I thought this Marvel uh, Captain American t-shirt would sell on Macari. I really did. And it's been listed on all three. I, I picked it up at Goodwill for $3. Will I ever pick them up again? No. <laughs> so I think I had it listed for $15. And someone offered me $12. And hallelujah, out the door it went. <clears throat> okay, next two sales were amazing. I can't, I'm, I'm thinking now, I had three amazing sales on Poshmark. Who knew? So, first item were these uh, Justin 
Western kilty boots that they're not making anymore. And these I picked up for $3 at that rummage sale a few months ago. And I think I had them listed for 50. And they were size five and a half, so I thought, yeah, I'm gonna sit on these for a while because it was a smaller size. But somebody offered me $40 and I took it. Oh my gosh, that was a great flip. And it wasn't, didn't take long to And I sell. just now sold the men's <laughs> pair the I had listed in my store. Is my favorite. So some of you may know if you watch my haul videos, I'm trolling through the shoes at Goodwill and somebody had tossed these on top of, you know, a different section. So I knew they were Vans without even going up on them. So I pick them up and sure enough, they're Vans, but they're also a collaboration with Disney and they're 101 Dalmatians. And they only had a few marks on the, <clears throat> on the white stuff uh, that I knew I could get out. But I looked at the price and they were $14.99. And that may not seem like a lot to you guys, but that's a lot for me to pay up front, not knowing the comps or how long they're gonna sit because I don't take the time usually to look up comps in thrift stores. So I went back and forth with them. In fact, I didn't pick them up right away. I'm surprised they were still there when I went back around. So I ended up picking them up and I'm sure glad I did. I got home, cleaned them up. They looked almost in new condition and ran the comps on them, and the comps were awesome. But I listed mine high at 125 because of the collaboration. So they sat for a few months, and I had them listed on all three, and I'm out uh, sourcing one day, and I get an offer from someone and on Poshmark, and it was for $80, and I thought, no, I'm not gonna let them go for under 100. So what I did was I, kept his offer open, <clears throat> went ahead and added it to a bundle and sent him a comment. And I said, I can't remember now what I said, but something to the essence of, you know, I really can't go lower than a hundred on these awesome shoes, blah, 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 blah. So we countered back and forth and what we decided on was 95. I can live with $5 less than a hundred. So he went ahead and bought him for $95. So grateful that that $15 has turned into 95. So hopefully he's happy with those. I haven't heard back yet, but you know, I'm hoping for the best. And now I'm gonna move on to Macari, be right back. So I thought I had two cells on Macari. If I did, I'll pop in pictures, but right now I'm only seeing one. So I bought these for a dollar at the same garage sale. I picked up that uh, vintage Levi's jacket. So I've had it for a few months, but they're these black leather Dansko clogs. They had the pretty embroidery on the top. And they were a size 36 and I had them listed for $35 and someone sent me an offer of 28 and because I've had them for a while and they were a small size, I went ahead and accepted it. So yeah, $1 into 28, I'm happy with that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I had a total of 36 sales on eBay and what I did was I took out uh, the fees and the returns and came up with these totals, but this is before my cost of goods. So we all know I, I range anywhere from four to $10 on cost of goods for each piece. So you do the math. <clears throat> anyway, I sold 36 items on eBay for a total of $420 and 13 cents. Um, Poshmark, I had six sales for a total of $133 and 80 cents. And a Mercury, I had Mercury, Mercury. New name for Macari. I'm Macari, I had one sale. In fact, I drive a Mercury. Hmm. Uh, for a total of $24.08. So all three combined total, $578.01 minus my cost of goods. So hopefully this interests you guys. I know that some of these sales were amazing to me. And I hope you guys is, are you guys are doing okay with your sales as well. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. And maybe think of subscribing to my channel because I'm trying to be more consistent in bringing you videos. So I hope everybody's having a great day and I'll see you on the next one.